Okay, the caravan's back together. The timbers that were replaced in here, a significant number really. Uh, one across the front, and then two just at the head of this lighting, uh, what would you call it, plinth canopy type thing going on here to keep a bit of sun out. Um, back here, further timbers over the top of the bulkhead to provide additional support to the centre of the skylight. And on this side, to uh, provide support using the bulkhead so the bulkhead is now load bearing from the roof and we came right the back here to the fridge freezer with two further pieces of timber uh, one just just in front of here and one around the edge of the the window so the roof light has now been framed with this type of timber, approximately 2x2, 2x2 planed which comes out about 47mm, 45mm. Compare that to the original installation which is about 20 by less than 25 so 20 by 22 probably of which significant cutouts were made to a depth uh, such that only 5 mil of structural timber would be remaining to allow cables to run through outrageous so all the timber that's gone in is this Let's, let's call it 50 by 50 approximately. The cables, instead of cutting chunks out, the cables have now gone into conduit at the back of the cupboards to preserve the strength of the roof. The problem right from the word, right from the off, the dog's squeaky toy, was this thing. They're basically built the roof structure out of matchwood and then cut any strength that was in there out to incorporate this roof light. However, we now have a slightly uh, convex roof, very slight curve to it, as opposed to a concave roof before which effectively created a lake on top of the roof of the caravan. We can now open and close the window fits against the seal and we can open and close it without having to pull down heavily on the windows on the window catches in order to get them to uh, engage because the sag in the roof was significant so much so that when it you couldn't pitch your caravan level because when it rained it would come over the top of the window seal to all that's now rectified, water runs off to either side and away, as you would expect. British caravans. Uh, yeah. So, uh, so as I say, the wind has been framed using uh, integral built-in support already to provide further support. Um, all in all, we have quite a significantly improved roof structure. Uh, mistakes and learning points. Um, learning points. Everything at manufacturing levels been done from outside the caravan. So everything that you take out is screwed from above. So that needs sort of uh, that's one thing to overcome. The next thing is that this panel from this point forward is curved and comes to the top of the window up there. Uh, 
if you have to take on this project, make a template so that you can recreate that curve as uh, it is now because it proved to be a bit of a pig to get the curvature right in order to get the cupboards right. So if this, if I did this again, I'd, I'd make a template to match the curvature of the roof exactly. Uh, next learning point was on these strips. These consist of, these is like a upside down T, which engages in a, a rail clipped to a timber and then this clicks into place over the top. Uh, the wallpaper, roof paper, whatever you call it, lining paper that's on here, we purchased from an online sales company. Uh, when it arrived, it arrived wrapped around a significant cardboard tube. Uh, by significant, I would say it's approximately 10 mil thick, the wall of the cardboard tube. And the paper was damaged in the middle. So as we unrolled the tube, there was meter after meter getting progressively smaller the amount of damage as we unrolled. But a lot of the thing was damaged. Why on earth don't they put the paper inside the cardboard tube? And it would be fully protected. Anyway, that's one for the salespeople of this kind of stuff. Next learning curve, uh, the adhesive used to secure it to this uh, plastic strip. I used Gorilla Glue. What a mistake to make. Um, it's, it's on, it was fiddly as you like, uh, but Gorilla Glue expands like expandy foam, so it proved to be an issue. I wouldn't do that again. I'd choose a different adhesive to secure the paper to the to here. One other thing is when I put the props in, slightly you may or may not see it on video, but a little bit heavy-handed putting one of the props in. We've now got a very slight flat spot just there, which not altogether happy with, but hey, it's you've got to touch it or get really close to it to be able to see it. But worth a mention that you just need to support the the uh, roof with props and not actually try and jack it up. Uh, next learning thing was these cupboards. Excuse the water pump pipe hanging up there. We like it to uh, drain properly and we don't lay it flat because water holds inside and it becomes moldy, causes problems. However, since we had the caravan, these cupboards, these kitchen units, these have, these have always curved up on this edge. So even in uh, production, this thing was never installed level. It always had this kick up at this side. Now this drove my wife crazy, crazy and the cupboards had to come out because we've come all the way back to here with the new roof and uh, part of taking them out meant that we put them back level. Now you can probably see a gap at the top. Yeah you can. Now that's a result of everything going back in level and not up to the roof as the manufacturers put it causing this obvious kick. The, the kick from the bottom was more pronounced than seeing the gap at the top. Bizarre. So they they just throw these things together. British caravan manufacturers get your act together because it's crap. So on all this front section of roof we've now got it fully supported, the window fully framed using 2x2 timber. And happy as Larry. The caravan works, functions as it did before, uh, but we don't get we don't get rained on when we're sat having a cup of tea. Um, we no longer have a lake, which pff, as soon as you lower the jockey wheel, it all plunges forward or backwards or over the side or whatever else. It's all gone, all that issue. So 
yeah, vast improvement. Anyway, that's uh, that's our sort of experience of uh, rebuilding a poorly built caravan. So enjoy. <laughs>